Hey guys, it's NCS Fan here, welcoming you back to my walkthrough of Destroy All Humans 2 to 100% with commentary. Uh, last time we reached Tunguska. This time we will begin the collectathon at Tunguska, the exploration for that matter. This is gonna be very, very boring to me. This is this is the most annoying collectathon I think in the entire game because Albion, I surprisingly didn't have any trouble in the Albion collectathon. This one, I hate this one. This the map is just the most annoying thing ever. Okay, getting to this one, you have to glitch your way like it's, it's kind of weird, but you sort of like grab hold of the side of this thing to go up it. I'll take it. I mean, I will take it. Okay, as you can see, red dots for alien artifacts. And, of course, green for Furitech cells. So I want to try to collect everything before we actually start the mission. So it's probably going to take two videos just to collect all this crap. I hate this collectathon. I mean, luckily this is the next to last collectathon we'll have to do. Because pretty much what's going to happen is we're going to complete every possible, like, side mission and all. Then we're going to do the, uh... And then we're going to head into the fifth and final area after completing every side mission. And after we complete all the side missions and head to that area, we'll collect everything there. And then all it'll be for the last few parts will be missions. Very nice. Thou shalt render no images of false gods, especially ones which are more attractive than mine. Ah. Eliminate those idols. I'm sure, I remember what you have to destroy. I think you have to destroy, like, the statue. This yep. Idol threat has been that one took me. That's the only Arvudal statue I've ever had trouble with. That's the only one that has given me any trouble whatsoever. Because that one... That is actually a little hard to figure out. I'll admit, that one can actually be a little hard to figure out. If you don't know what you're doing, it can be. I think I finally got the camera to where it's going to stay in a good position. You dare shoot that Cryptos for idiom! Yeah. That's exactly what happens. Uh, I do need to do the Gene Blender real quick. Uh, lag much? Yeah, there's not going to be any cops or hippies in this area. You know, you'd think they'd be able to figure out where the saucer is just by looking at where the tractor beam is. I mean, think about it. It doesn't seem like it'd be that difficult to figure out. I've started to wonder sometimes if this is, might be, like, Chernobyl. I mean, it kind of looks like it. Are you serious? Oh, great. We need a secret agent and a British urban female. You guys... You guys know how much trouble we had with that last time. You guys know I'm going to suffer for this, aren't I? Oh, great. Well... We gotta do it eventually, though. Body snatch KGB agents at twice the rate. Finally finished that one. Okay, so we need four army soldiers. I thought I abducted some. Thought I abducted more than that. Maybe not. At least there's plenty of army here to go around. And there's a KGB base, so... Obviously, that's where you want to find KGB agents. Holy crap, Holy crap ski. It seems like for Russia, they sort of make fun of Russia by making it sound like every time you want to make something sound Russian, just say the word ski at the end. Okay, we'll do that a different time, because I just really don't feel like doing a G that Gene Blend right now. I mean, now I know where to find secret agents, but the urban female part's going to be the death of me. Okay, so as you can see, the Art Voodle statues are in some relatively bad spots for this place. So we're going to start searching. Alright, let's go. Crypto. I still wish, though, they would make the Furitex cells appear on the big map instead of just the small map. Because that would make the search just take so much faster. Take so much faster, that didn't make any sense. I meant go much faster, take less time. Improper grammar for the win.
Hit me, hit me, hit me. Oh, you're going to miss with a four-round burst gun? Wow, two out of eight shots were hits. What are they paying you guys for? To drink vodka or something? Anyway. Oh, there's something. Yeah, the collectibles are really, really annoying. Just check pack failure. Ooh, that's an alien artifact. There's also a data core we're going to have to collect. Like an actual weapons data core that we'll get in this area. Very good weapon, just it's a, it's the last saucer weapon, as you might have guessed. But uh, it's a very, very good weapon, but I'm just... It's great. It's We'll just say it's a better sonic boom for now, just so I don't spoil anything. Sounds like wolves. Okay, I've actually never heard that before. It's actually kind of cool. How many times I said actually in that last two sentences? Anyway. That, that almost sounds like a mixture of a ghost and a wolf. Whatever, like we're actually afraid of ghosts. The Silent Hill demented school children are just stupid. Anyway. Yeah, there's a bunch of little, like, tiny, almost villages around. This is, like, maybe the biggest little, I guess, village. Alright, very nice. We have a landing zone here. We're going to hit that. Get our saucer closer. I believe these guys might be... I don't know if these guys are army or KGB. It's kind of hard to tell in this area. I think the army guys are the ones that wear the giant overcoats, though. I think these guys are KGB because they're easier to kill. Alright, the saucer's here. This is so annoying. I hate this part. At least I know I will never. <coughs> Excuse me, uh. At least I know I will never have to do this again in my life because I will probably never play a. Full completion to Straw Humans 2 again. Not after how many times I've failed this run through. Ugh, whatever. Maybe I deserve it for calling the game easy in the beginning, because that's what I did. I remember I called it pretty easy, and now I've just had. I mean, I've died six times in this walkthrough. That's just kind of pathetic for me. And I mean, we're only two thirds, or yeah, about two thirds of the way through the game, and I've died six times already. Oh, I'm pretty sure like at least four of those deaths were in Albion. I personally consider the fourth area, this one, Tunguska, harder than the fifth area, especially for collecting, but for everything else too. All right, just called the saucer there. I don't know why, but maybe for a quick escape or something. Anyway. Drop in. Somewhere out here is where the data core is. It's... No, it's further up. Okay, I don't think we can quite... Maybe we can get the landing zone of this strange base. I can't exactly remember. I think we can. I believe we can, y'all. Wow, my voice just cracked. Okay. Or something happened with my voice. I don't know what that was, but anyway... I didn't even understand that comment. Yeah, the KGB base is full of, wouldn't you know it, hippies! No, I'm kidding, KGB. <laughs> of course it's KGB. What would be in a KGB base besides KGB and vodka? I mean, seriously. Okay, let's keep on going. Now, there's going to be one Furotex cell that we cannot yet access. Sort of like one of the alien artifacts that we cannot yet access at one point. Back in the other area. That alien, that Furotex cell is at the strange base, but we cannot access it just yet. Don't worry, I'll go back and get that landing zone. Yeah, we can't get actually close enough to the strange base just yet. So we're not actually going to try to get that one just yet. But... This Tunguska has some really annoying glitchiness with the Furotech cells. I think there's actually only 38, even though it says there's 40. How many do we have? 15, really? 
six more artifacts and 25 more Furitech cells. Aw, oh, what the? Thank you, TV. Thank you. You guys know I hate this TV. This one, you have to bring him a KGB agent. Agents of destruction, dispatched on their fell mission by I know not whom. Could be the Decalypse. The bastards always fire with me. I guess Odecalypse is like an enemy god or something, I don't know. So simply, PK a KGB agent without them... Really? Really? Thank you, game. There we go. Alright, he's dead. Oh wait, I don't even I don't need to end the saucer just yet anyway. Let's keep going. Ten, 11 minutes in and we've done like a third of the collectibles. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's only 38 actual Furtex cells in this in Tunguska, as far as I could tell. I'm not 100 percent sure if that's true, but I think it's some kind of glitch. Ah, safe house. Nice. Okay, there's one over there. Somewhere around here is that last data core. I think I took a little off-path type deal. Yeah, there's two artifacts right next to each other, luckily. 70% complete. All right, let's get this one. Four more of those. Would you stop honking your frickin' horn? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I see three surrounding this, uh, our Google statue. I know, Art Voodle makes returns in, uh... I know he returns and destroy all humans' path of Furon to unlock landing zones. I can't really remember how Big Willy Unleashed worked with landing zones. I can't remember if you actually had to unlock them. I could have sworn you may not have had to. I, I can't exactly remember, but oh well. We'll grab the other stuff in just a moment. We'll grab that, uh, landing zone, I mean. I know there was something different. I thought, I thought there was something different in one of the games. Maybe not. Either way, let's grab that one. I know, as far as I know, uh, Big Willy Unleashed was the only one that actually only had four areas instead of the typical five. Because this one has five, I know Path of Furon has five. I, I think the original had five. Alright, 13 and a half minutes, but we've collected pretty well lately. This is going to take two videos, I'm sure, though. Alright, this one should be pretty simple. Yeah. So for them, like, their god is Ark Boodle, and their devil is Dodecalypse, apparently. That sounds right, I don't really know. Anyway... That's just for them, though. Thou obviously canst not land if thy landing zone is this truth with drums, fields, with toxic wastes. Get rid of those barrels! Yeah, seriously, you could have just said that. You don't have to give us a stupid riddle every time. I would be impressed. Really, now, don't take it personally. I think I see a Furitex cell up there. Yep, there's one. This is the cargo ship. This thing's actually kind of cool. I wish that if, like, if there had been, like, trophies on the PS2 or something, or... I can't remember if this game was ever released for the 360. I think, it, I think it would be compatible with the 360, but... I don't know if it was... I don't think it was ever released for the 360, unless it was, like, a special release or something. Whoa, I was about to say, like, where's that going to? Little island out here. 
And I thought there was a Furitex cell out on one of those islands out there. Maybe not. Yeah, I guess there's not one out here. Alright. Thought there was. Alright guys, I'm going to go on and uh, cut off the video here. So next time we'll continue the Takashima Collectathon. We have 11 more Furitech cells to get and 3 more artifacts and 1 more landing zone. So we should be able to finish it next video. I'll see you guys then.